This might prove useful at some point. It's a flyer what bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a rid of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first-class ticket to Napsville. Population Z's. A beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. Olmstead, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. That's a lot of book right there. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's it's indecipherable. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Oh, Serge, we will be so happy here. Now get cracking on that dinner. Allez! No resonance. Good evening. Good evening, monsieur. My name is Serge, and I'm the concierge here. How may I help you? I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. I'm interested in an apartment. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. I'm sorry. Everything? Well, yes, yes, everything. You seem to hesitate there. Is there maybe one you're holding on to for somebody? Monsieur is very inquisitive. My interests are scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. You are correct. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. Held on to, huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. I have some soup on the stove and I must tend to it. Au revoir. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Monsieur Serge. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. I find your reticence suspicious. My reticence is born of loyalty and respect. Loyalty to whom, Mr. Olmstev? Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. Ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the... the other way around. My point is, I'm a busy man. I just wanted to come clean. It's it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. You're being unnecessarily pedantic. 
No, I am merely being cautious. Big difference. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmsted left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hm. Let me think. Um, something that only he and I would know. Aha! Um, uh -huh. All right. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, uh, Ketype. Mr. Ketype. Do you know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew? And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. Flamel's what? Room. R Rome? Room, room. Oh, you are insufferable. I, uh, I don't recall right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Are you? Not everything's gone digital, I guess. I find that strangely comforting. That's the concierge's prerogative. Oh no, do you not have anything better to do with your time than torture me, Mr. K-Type? May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our Flamel Memorial Guestbook. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Doesn't this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? Alright, I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write on whatever it is you wish. Hmm, alright. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen, made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A uh, quite real Corvius Corax feather, yes. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? <clears throat> I, Donald R. Ketype. Yes? Knowing full well that this will go into recorded history. Y yes I'm compelled to record into written history. Yes. That, uh, through circumstances that were hard to predict. Bon Dieu, is there more? Oh, I've only just begun. I am a visitor to these strange francophone lands. Yes? So I staggered through the rain-slick streets of the metropolis. In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? Yes! For, in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden... Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens! This is for you, you Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. Monsieur Serge seems to have forgotten his beloved pen there. As Mac Viper says, never touch another man's pen. I might have known it was you. What is it now? Uh, 
I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmstead of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstev. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstev, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. How do you remember Olmstev? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, I, um, well, huh, funny. Know that you mention it. I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bazaar at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstev. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Ya at Zoftu. Ya Angaku. Ya zi nibo. Okay. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Ya at Zoftu. Okay. Ah, Paris, the city of lights. More like lightning now. These particular books had somehow survived. They seemed to be in alphabetical order. I was gonna have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually.
A uh, big vertical crack in it lets me know it's empty. Sit. 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 Nothing. To um. Nothing. I had chosen the book starting with an I and the first word in the sentence. I was onto something. Est. Draconi. In. Finem. Corvus, Corvi, Corvinus. What? I don't really need him. Flaminus necessarium est. There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. Just apply flamel. Hey, it, it worked. All right, let's uh, see what this says. Huh, interesting. I should tell Buzz about this right away. He'd better have a cell phone signal. Not having phone signal or internet sucks so bad. Rare occurrence like that helps us any. Sure, it took a lot to get from Bucharest to this forum Maris place. More than crossing the ocean, I might add. It's this blasted storm that defies the laws of physics, popping in and out of nowhere all over the world. Did you hear the driver saying it was messing with the GPS? Wait, where'd that accent come from? This? Whoa, what are my ancient stomping grounds doing to me? Kitty, I think this is the real me. <sighs> it never ends. Well, we're here. Charming town, your ancestral home. You will, of course, understand my apprehension and distrust of this place. Me being a black cat and everything? It isn't still the Middle Ages here, dummy. And as long as you're not excessively loud, people tend to not notice you can speak. Let's find peace. Right behind you. <laughs> 